Hey folks, Ray from DCRamerica.com here. Today I'm taking a look at Wyrol Cam. Now you may wonder the heck a Wyrol or a Cam is. Uh, well, it's pretty straightforward. Wyrol Cam is a cable cam setup, and so you've got the cable here, you've got a camera there, it's a standard GoPro, uh, and then I've got this thing called the Wyrol Lite, which is this cable cam rig that can move back and forth on it. So I can control that right here. I can go tell it to go to the right. I can bring it back again. I can set stop and end points. I can set the speed, uh, basically for like a slow-mo mode or just to control the speed using the dial here. Um, speaking of which, this is 3D printed because it was a prototype, so the button actually fell off, but I can still control it just fine. And in fact, I did a bunch of testing uh, back in the States, in Canada, in the US on this and without any problems in the trees. Uh, so you may be wondering why you want to use this over something like a drone. Well, in a lot of ways, they're complementary to each other. So this works really well in heavy forested environments where you simply can't get the drone in there, uh, either due to, you know, just the size of the drone or because of the fact that you can't get the shots as close as you want. This works perfectly. It's also much more repeatable. Um, so in this case, I can do the exact same track over and over and over again. So if you have a bunch of athletes competing on the same route, it's really easy to get the same shot. And the battery lasts a heck of a lot longer, three hours for this versus usually, you know, 15 to 25 minutes for most drones out there today. So to talk you through just a couple of basics here, what I've got is the action camera on the bottom right here, standard GoPro, and then I've got this ball joint mount. This isn't actually included in the Wyrol kit. I wish it was, but it only costs like seven bucks on Amazon. On the bottom here though is a standard tripod mount, so you can go ahead and put any camera um, up to a certain weight. I put that on the screen there, the exact weight on here. So you can fit like a mirrorless camera. Probably won't be able to fit most DSLR cameras, a little bit too big, uh, but you can go ahead and also fit a gimbal on here. So I did that in the mountains where I put the GoPro GoPro on a Karma Grip gimbal on top of this, so it's just incredibly silky smooth, removes any of that slight, like, if you look at that right there, it kind of wobbles a little bit, and eventually it'll stabilize, uh, so it's not too bad, and you can fix that super easily in post if you don't have a gimbal anyways, uh, but it's just something to keep in mind. And then you just control it using this remote control here. Uh, so the way remote control works is it's got this button that fell off, um, but again, I can go right here, I can go pretty darn quick, I can pull it back like that. It goes up to 28 miles per hour, 45-ish uh, kilometers per hour. I can also set and start um, basically stop points by using these two things right there. So I can set a left end point right here. I then go down to the other side. I set my right end point. And then failing that, I can use these little red clips right here to go ahead and ensure that if I overshoot while manually controlling it, um, it won't actually hit the tree. It'll simply derail this, these two wheels right here. Uh, but this whole thing is actually safety hooked on there using this little plug right there. So uh, therefore, it just simply hangs on the line and waits for you to come and save it. Um, but it won't actually crash into the tree or do something else very bad. So with that, I'm gonna go out to the mountains and show you how it all looks hooked up in the trees there with some really cool footage of mountain biking. Okay, so as you saw, they're pretty cool stuff. Um, what's unique about this is really the price and accessibility for it. Uh, at 169 bucks uh, for the initial Kickstarter, up to 199 if you're a little bit late to the game in Kickstarter. That's really solid for what you're getting for electronically controlled. Um, there are some minor things like a nitpick with. Um, I'm not gonna, the remote, obviously this is prototype 3D print, so I'm not gonna worry about that. Uh, some of the stuff with the um, axe, the reel there is super, super cool the way they designed that, like it just spools in. It's awesome, so easy to use. But I think the clamp on to the tree portion is a little bit tough. I wish I was like some sort of wrenched pulley system. This has a bit of a pulley system in there to latch it on the trees, but um, we found out in the wild it's not quite as easy to use. Uh, the other thing is that it comes with a 50 meter cable to begin with. So the one that's included in the Kickstarter is 50 meters, which sounds like a long way and it really is in a lot of ways. But what we found when we're out in the trees and stuff is that trees aren't perfectly placed apart. So to get the shots that you want, sometimes you have to go longer than 50 meters or be like 60 meters. So you're just always a little bit short. Um, so we wish we did have a longer uh, cable there. In that case, they do sell a 100 meter cable for I think another 29 bucks or something like that. 
Uh, maybe it's 49 bucks. Either way, it's more money, um, a bit more than I wanted, but it's certainly an option there. Uh, and I personally gonna recommend buying that one. It's what I'm gonna buy when I click the fun button here in a few minutes, uh, because I just like the flexibility of it. I think most of the time I'll probably keep things under 50 meters, but just to be able to go to that tree that's just in the wrong place is something that's super useful. Uh, otherwise, really cool stuff. Um, I would say don't fret about having a gimbal or not having a gimbal. Most of the shots, all the shots I think you saw in the mountain biking there were with a gimbal, the Karma Grip with the GoPro Hero 6 Black, um, but the reality is most of the time you don't need the gimbal. It's still gonna be super smooth. It just helps to stabilize a little bit. And you can do most of that with things like Final Cut or um, even uh, iMovie or Premiere, whatever you want um, does that in the box so you don't really have to worry about that. Anyways, with that, check out the review down bottom in the description there. Uh, really cool stuff, a lot more photos and kind of explainers on how this all works in detail. Uh, and then of course, somewhere else in the description is the Kickstarter campaign page. Uh, just to be super clear, they didn't pay me for this. I don't get to keep this. I'm sending it back um, and I'm buying my own by the time you see this video because I think it's something that's pretty cool to use. With that, don't forget to hit that like button as well as the subscribe button. I really appreciate it. Have a good one.